So, what she make you see? What? The path? Yep. She's long on visions, that one. I spent as much time reliving my father's disappointment in me as I did fighting phantoms of the enemy. Well, I... One yeah. more right cock-up like that and you'll never get accepted into the academy. Then what, Devin? Spending the rest of your days conjuring up fertility spells for the county dirt farmers? I gave him the accent like that for effect, by the way. And the volume. In reality, he was quite cultured and hardly ever spoke above a whisper. A disturbingly low whisper, too. Like this. He can make a room cold in the summer with it. <sighs> Horrible. But he's dead now, dear Bob. My older brother took over from the family business. Rugs. And I'm an awful merchant, so that meant off to the war for me. Were you? The path made sure I knew my true calling is what I'm trying to say. I'm good at war, Jack. Great at it. I hate them. Now, where were we? You're just going to talk over me, aren't you? I don't think so. I met Orfe on my way to the Palathon. What's their deal? They're one of our intelligence officers. A seer of considerable power. Orfe's great. Sometimes you have to cut through the static, if you know what I mean, but it's worth it. Yeah, I caught some of that. Get to know them more. It's good to have a seer watching out for you. You should also meet Hauser, though it seems like he decided not to show tonight. How typically rude. He's another immortal? Indeed. Bit of a bigwig from the Northern Court who plays at being mysterious, treats the Order more as a hobby than a calling. Don't tell him I said that. I'm sure he'll turn up at some point. So what don't I know about Kirkin that I probably should? She ever tell you the story about the Ark? It's never come up. Five years and it's never come up? Uh-huh. You and everyone else are just too scared to ask. Fine. So what's with her arm? I haven't asked. Can you not? All right. I'll see you around, Devin. <laughs> What's shaking? We're probably at your graduation party, where we're politely refusing to remove our mask. Or we're discussing Aristea again. Are you sure that's where we are? Forgive us if we aren't, Candle. The years get wet in our head. Right. It's the seer part of being a seer, I guess. The kind of time jumpy thing with you. Red, chaos, green, transition. They mixed when we were given our magic by the Pentasad. One lives in our right eye, the other in our left. Causing a temporal thingamajig. Got it. And probably at this point I asked to see your eyes. You'll forgive us if we say no? We hope. So as a seer, you're what? Like maybe our reconnaissance officer or something? You look for what's coming our way? We work as an intelligence specialist, yes. Remote recon is part of our duties. You're convincing Zandara to let you walk the path, for example. That's back a ways, actually. But Kirkin said you can see the future, too. In theory, half the time. What? We know, for example, that you must eventually refrain from making covenant with the low beasts of the field. Um, is that code? It sounds like code. Maybe, but Devon's our code breaker, so it's best to ask him. Wait, no. You never do. Sounds like it's settled then. Good chat, Orfe. Captain Soko. He sends Sandrax Vanguard packing and promptly aces selection. You make it seem easy, sir. Please, don't start calling me that. You're an immortal now, sir. There are protocols to follow. Nope. See? Every time you say it, it's just weird. We'll both learn to survive it. I should be going. I just wanted to make sure to congratulate you before I left. Thanks, Captain. Have a good night. You too, sir. <laughs>
Hold up, these are my quarters? Morning, Jack. Morning, sir. I think I might have, well, accidentally slept in the wrong room. It's kind of uh, extravagant and really big. You'll get used to it. Come down to the vault. We need to talk about your next steps as an immortal. Will do. Now that you're an immortal, Jack, do you want to know a secret? <laughs> that you actually have hobbies? These all yours? What do you think of them? I think I haven't seen enough of the world. I don't recognize any of these. That's because they all were driven to extinction by the Everwar. How? 
Since we first learned to use magic, we've waged war over who would control it. It isn't meant to be used so violently and so unchecked and for so long. The natural world suffers for it. Their habitats die. Their waters are ruined. Their skies are choked. Their lands are crystallized or filled with hungry spirits they can't compete with. Our magic causes ruin for every living thing, Jack. It causes the wound. We caused the wound? I told you that we draw magic from the ley lines, from the shrouded realm. To be more precise, we siphon it to use as we will. And it stays here, but it's not meant to. And no one's ever discovered how to actually put it back. It punches its way back down. All that magic over all that time. And so the wound grows. But without magic... We can't win the war to control magic. Correct. So we're destroying Avium while we're trying to save Avium? That's the secret. This secret sucks. It's insane. Does Sandrak know this? Of course he does. All the Orders do. Then why the hell are we fighting? Everyone needs to just stop. You want to be the first side to quit? Because you trust Sandrak that much. Because mankind can always be counted on to do the reasonable thing. I've wanted to wield magic my whole life. And now you're telling me I... <laughs> You've already figured out the solution, Jack. We win. Then we start thinking about how to fix the wound. You don't win in ever war. It's brick walls like that make you take up painting in your spare time. Isn't there something else th that we can do about it, I mean? Yes. Go to that spell altar. What spell will it grant me? One that hopefully eases your conscience. Reckless, overtaxed, and broken magic often leaves corruption behind. You grew up with it in Saren, the deposits that would accumulate in the Underbridge. There, it's a nuisance. But larger, more malignant versions exist. Part of the Immortals' mandate is to restore those areas of the world overrun with this corruption. That spell is the key. Restore them with magic. The same magic that causes it, and oh, yeah, also the wound. The irony isn't lost on anyone. In the meantime, you have more pressing concerns. Zendara is waiting for you in the war chamber to brief you on a mission. Really? Please don't say she's my field commander. Run along. Your field commander's waiting.
clock's ticking. Yes, sir. Uh, you do outrank me, right? I, uh, wow, this place is kind of big. I, uh, must have gotten lost. Huh. Intel indicates that the hand is operating near the Pale Forest, and we've just lost contact with our outpost there. What's so important about the forest? Strategically, nothing. The Leyline Tower there has been dead for a hundred years. And yet she's taking a big risk attacking so close to the Palathon. You still with me, Initiate? Not an Initiate. That's not even a rank. Y you know, I checked. Nightblades have established a stronghold at the southern edge of the forest. We'll attack on both sides. We? Oui. You're coming? I mean, what about Devin? Devin is needed elsewhere. And Kirkin seems to think you might not get me killed. Jury's still out on that one. Sure, thanks. Don't leave the portal open for me or anything. Guess I'm walking. 